Have you ever gone into one of those games that offer admin has a game pass and your ears get greeted by some Roblox player just absolutely blasting music into not just your ears but into your soul? Yeah. Long gone are those days. A few videos ago I made a video about Roblox making Roblox badges free to make for developers and that was a great update however today we talk about an update to something that affects not just developers but all Roblox players. As audio is used by the general public just as much as it's used by developers. So what is this brand new Roblox audio update and what does it mean for you? Well in this video we're going to dive into it. So to check out all of the new changes we are going on to the Roblox Dev Forum on a post by Roblox staff member BitFist. The title of this forum post reads Upcoming Changes to Asset Privacy for Audio. Let's give this a read. Shall we? Developers, we are making important changes to the way privacy works for audio, giving you more control over how your assets are used across the platform. On the 22nd of March, all new audio uploaded will be private, and all existing audio longer than 6 seconds will be set to private. To help you prepare for these changes, we are announcing the following. Starting today, all audio uploads are free. To support this change, there are now monthly limits on how many audio assets you can upload. Thresholds will differ between accounts. For example, an account that is ID verified will be able to upload 100 audio assets per month. Learn more about uploading sounds and music here. We have released a new audio discovery plugin in Roblox Studio, which includes a step-by-step -step guide in the privacy changes section below. By March 22nd, our currently licensed music catalog will receive a newly curated selection of more than 100,000 right cleared songs and more than 100,000 new professionally produced sound effects for top audio and music partners like APM, Monster Cat, Pro Sound Effects Network, Music Group and Position Music for you to use. You can browse the Roblox license catalog and Monster Cat collection now. Keep an eye out for an announcement in the coming weeks with more information on the other additions to the catalog. And then it basically goes on to go on about respecting rights, which we'll get onto now, privacy changes and what it means for different people, even though they just went on about what they've already stated in that section. And then they'll obviously taught, teach you how to use the audio discovery plugin in Roblox Studio and also explain why they don't have any more upload fees. So in a basic summary, every single audio you publish from now on will be free instead of paying Robux for it, which may I actually add that audio actually costed quite a lot back when you actually had to pay to publish it. If your account is ID identified, you can publish a hundred different audios every month. If you are unsure about how to verify your ID on Roblox or why Roblox want to ID verify you, watch this video right here. It explains everything in detail. By the 22nd of March, Roblox will have released tons of non-copyrighted music and sound effects to the audio library. And on the 22nd of March, every single existing audio on the Roblox audio library will be privated and any newly uploaded audio from the 22nd of March onwards that is six seconds or longer will also be privated meaning only you as the uploader of that audio can use it in Roblox studio or listen to it now why did Roblox make this update well if we think about it logically Roblox just does not want to get into any trouble for their users using and publishing copyrighted audio onto their platform. I explained this in a video a while ago on the Roblox games that were being, you know, remade in Roblox. If a game is made and it's a blatant copy and has the licensing material of a real game, then that user that made the game is not getting into trouble. But Roblox is, because according to the law, Roblox is basically allowing it to happen, or is seen to be allowing it to happen. This exactly is the same concept with copyrighted audio. If someone publishes a song that is protected by the law to the Roblox audio library, Roblox can be held responsible and be taken to court with the risk of losing lots of money or possibly their entire 
platform. So this update is more of a safety measure than anything else. Now, there's been a lot of controversy on this update. Personally, I don't think it is terrible. You know, some people don't like the fact that they're just wiping it entirely clean, basically. And, you know, some people say that the general default limit of 10 audio files each month is not that great. It's far and in between, you know. This update is very based on your perspective. I personally don't think it's that bad of an update. They could have done a few things better here and there. Of course, they could have. They make mistakes. They're human. But I actually don't think that this is as terrible as people are actually making it out to be. But I do actually love the idea that Roblox are having with their updates recently. First, they make badges free and now they make audios free. This is amazing and it opens up so much opportunities for people, especially developers on Roblox, to make games without having to spend money. But yeah guys, let me know what you think about this new Roblox audio update down below and be sure to subscribe to Motivate Roblox to keep making amazing updates or something, I don't know lol.